Welcome back to First Move. Emergency workers in Canada continue to fight more than 400 wildfires across the nation. Last week, thick smoke from massive fires in Canada drifted over large parts of the United States. Remember this? Triggering numerous alerts about poor air quality. Then places as far away as Greenland, Iceland and even Norway felt the impact. Now, with Canada experiencing what's likely to be its worst fire season on record, one company is gearing up for the reforestation efforts. Flash Forest is using drones and tech like artificial intelligence to replant trees and regenerate areas devastated by fire. It says it brings new levels of speed and accuracy to the jobs of restoring forests. And joining us now is Flash Forest co-founder and CEO Bryce Jones. Bryce, fantastic to have you on the show. We'll talk about what you do as a company first, but just start by explaining and tell me what you think of what we're seeing in Canada and why it's so virulent this year. Hi. Uh, yeah, so th thank you very much for having me on the show. Um, so what we are seeing right now in Canada is an uh, unprecedented scale of wild wildfires in Nova Scotia, in Alberta, um, and in other provinces. Um, it does it does seem to be uh, getting worse and worse, kind of exacerbated every year. Um, this is obviously largely due to climate change, but there are other factors here that um, increase the, the scale and severity of wildfires, including forest management practices as well. Um, but this is a particularly severe year, yeah. And this is where you get to work, Bryce, because this is the point. You begin the process of sort of analysing the area, understanding how quickly you can replant trees. And I believe you're already looking at some of these areas now to see what you can do in, in 2024. So the turnaround is incredibly quick. That is correct. Yeah. So we're actually, I'm, I'm doing this today. I'm doing outreach in, in Nova Scotia and Alberta uh, to be planting these sites within the next, uh, within the next planting season, which will be next spring. Yeah. And explain the technology behind how you work out what to plant where and, and how you actually go about replanting physically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our technology is, uh, it is drone based uh, reforestation technology. And so we are really focused on accelerating reforestation, doing this from the air. Um, and drones is really the best way that we that we can think of doing this, specifically in post wildfire areas. Uh, we have seed pods. Each pod has a uh, has a tree seed in it, and uh, these are designed to enhance germination, enhance the survival um, of these little seedlings when we plant them. And then we essentially fly over a post wildfire area. We can access this remote, remotely, um, and when we fly over this post wildfire area, we can uh, plant these pods at a very high rate. So we're actually shooting these pods into the soil, into the ground, and um, and by doing this, we can increase the germination rate, um, and we can essentially accelerate the rate of reforestation um, and bypassing the safety risks. Planting in post wildfire areas is inherently dangerous. Yeah. So doing this with drones actually prevents requiring humans to get out there and and perhaps going in what is pretty treacherous and dangerous territory. Um, what, what is the, the rate upon which these actually germinate and then grow? Yeah, so that, that really depends on the, uh, on the species and the site that we're planting. Um, but we are selecting sites that have, uh, that for us have historically had the highest germination rate and survival rate, um, but are still uh, affected by severe wildfires. So, in Canada, there's a range of uh, ecosystems and biomes that we can plant in, but we're focused on planting areas that are hit by high severity wildfires and that we've got a lot of data that has proven out uh, successful germination using our technology. And so um, it really depends on a site by site basis, but uh, we have collected the data, we have done projects in these areas before, and then we determine how many pods per tree we need um, in order to, to hit the seedling density that we want, to hit the stocking standard that we want. So we generally plant at 1,500 uh, seedlings per hectare, 1,400 or 15 per hectare, um, and uh, we determine internally how many seedlings we need. Uh, but this rate is improving every year. We're constantly doing R&D on the plant science end and then on the engineering end as well. Um, to ensure that we uh, plant as efficiently as possible. Yeah, I see. So this is the science behind it. You map the region, you understand which species perhaps will survive best in a certain point and the distance between them in particular too, to understand sort of what, what the best rate of access will be and growth, I'm assuming too. How much more efficient is it is doing it like this versus human replanting, which 
I'm sure has been done in the past. How much more ground can you cover over what time period? Yeah, uh, so, so great question. Um, and first of all, I'll say that we have, we have huge respect for human planters. It is crazy work that they do out there, um, and we absolutely need them. Um, so human planters plant in the post-harvest industry. Uh, what we're doing is post-wildfire reforestation. And um, post-wildfire reforestation is actually, um, it, is, it is very, uh, it's not very common for humans to go in there. They're very focused in the post-harvest industry. It's very dangerous. Um, and so when we get in there, we can do remote site access. Um, but in terms of, of efficiency, um, we're planting at about nine times the rate of human planters right now. So um, on a per tree basis, on a per value added person in the field, uh, we can plant at about nine times the rate of, of human tree planters. So that, that gives you wow. an idea for efficiency. Yeah. And what about relative cost? Um, there are kind of inherent initial costs, kind of initial capex that we have on you know, our pod production systems, on our, on our drone systems, on the field uh, logistics management and stuff like that. Uh, but there's economies of scale. And so we, we really tap into that as we start scaling the company and automating our processes. So our seed pods, every single seed pod um, contains one tree seed, uh, but we are automating this entire process. We're about 90% automated right now, where we're leveraging a lot of machinery um, to produce these pods. We're almost producing about 500,000 of these a day. Um, and then um, as we hit economies of scale, you know, over the next few years, uh, the price drops significantly. And then we see um, we see a reduction in cost that will bring us cheaper than uh, conventional reforestation. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, you and your team are doing great work and we'll, um, we'll stay in touch and keep the conversation going. Looking forward to the scaling up process. Um, Bryce, great to chat to you. Thank you. Okay. Bryce Jones there, Thank the you. CEO of